Because I've been bullshitting today, so. <clears throat> basic blues progression that we all know and love but what i'm gonna show you and what i demonstrated in the example is special ingredients that's what i like to call them just special ingredients that not everyone is aware of or not everyone uses to really keep you inspired and to keep you loving the blues you know because the blues oh man We'll talk about it some other time. It's great and it could go on forever and ever and ever. You can always add stuff to it to freshen it up and to make it cool, okay? So let's just get into it. The first thing you want to be able to do is this. You're like, fuck, anyone could do that. Yeah, you're right. But that's the first step of it. After you go like this. Oh man, that sounds terrible, doesn't it? But once you go like this and you learn how to control it with your left hand so going and stopping it then it'll sound really fucking good because then you'll be able to stop it like this and it sounds bad right there like my ears are hurting just listening to that but once you complement it or use this to complement your blues oh man it's a whole nother thing so you were going instead of starting like this which is great it's badass everyone loves that start it like this see it gives it mm, it gives it some deliciousness that can't really be written down on sheet music which is why i love it so much so just start it off. You should be able to kind of hear it in your head because it just makes sense once you hear it. And it's just... So you just upstroke and that bitch is as fast as you can. And once you end it, immediately start. Blues Boogie style if you want. I made a video on it. It's on a playlist, okay? It's on my rhythm my blues rhythm playlist okay check it out if you're new and if you're not new you already know you already know what i'm doing right here with my palm i'll give you a hint there's some palm muting okay anyways you got that okay now this is the part i was fucking up in my last video i probably shouldn't even tell you guys that but whatever you you know me, look, I'm an open book, so I'll tell you whatever you wanna know. I'll tell you everything except, no, nah, I can't say it. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you everything about me. Okay, so basically, you wanna go. Okay, that's pretty cool, isn't it? So it's just, is an upstroke to a downstroke. So open E, upstroke, then a downstroke on the second of the E. So, and then you're just going, your alternate picking. Look at my right hand. And you're just walking up. You're just walking up, so two, then you just go to the A however you want. Some people like some people like making their lives harder than it needs to be and they'll play the A blues here. But if you want to be more economical and if you want to save your joints the stress, just play it here. That open position. And 
for you new people, I'll throw you a bone and I'll tell you how to do it. Even though you should be watching my other videos, but whatever. We're gonna go open A and two with your pointer finger on the D. And don't let any of these strings ring out. You really wanna, you wanna get them over here. Like, don't press down, but like you're getting ready to press down. So, they, so they're just muted. It's, like, it's just like doing this, you know? It's like making the mistakes that we all made when, when we were beginning learning chords on purpose when the strings aren't fully ringing out. It's like doing that on purpose to, to keep it snappy and to keep it clean, okay? So that's it. So you go. And remember that I'm just stroking up. That sounds terrible alone, but once you compliment it, it's beautiful. Okay, so you got that. You those are the those are two really cool tricks to add. And there was just one more that if you have good memory, you'll remember six minutes ago when I did the introduction. Instead of going. chord middle finger on the a pointer finger on the d so middle finger on the second of the a pointer finger on the second of the d and ring finger on the g okay that's it then you just slide one fret Ooh, that sounds good doesn't it this technique sounds good on its on its own, so that's nice. And vibrato it however you want. I don't know. I don't know how how much you guys like vibrato in your chords. Some people like it, some people don't. If you like it and you don't know how to do it, ask me. And I'll make a video to help you out. Just for you. Even if one person asks me, I'll do it. So, and feel it, feel it. Don't count this shit. Just go. See, feel it. Maybe I'll feel like doing this. I'm just going to pull this out of my ass and hopefully it sounds good. Because if it doesn't, then shit, maybe we should be counting. Just go. See, you can do different shit. So just work on that and put your soul into it so it sounds unique to you. And oh man, you will you will turn some heads for sure, for sure. And that's basically it, okay? Very simple, very easy, very nice transitions. And um, what's the word? I wanted to say ad libs, but I'm not I'm not a rapper. I'm not rapping, but just that. <coughs> Just a little tasty treat for your playing. Okay? It's very nice. And I want to thank you guys for encouraging me to make these videos. And I just want to thank you for letting me be myself. For real. You guys are awesome. True friends. For real. Anything you need when it comes to guitar, I'm here for you. And I read all the comments. I love you guys. Peace out.